Hey, what's going on guys? We're gonna show you how to make a coat rack and it's not gonna be my Betsy Ross coat rack, it's a different one. Uh, we're gonna show you exactly how to make this one. All right, let's get to it. For the coat rack, we're gonna use a single piece of wood to keep it sturdy. And I just measure out 36 inches and use the entire size. So we're gonna go ahead and measure out 36 inches for this piece of wood right here. And then we'll get it cut. All right, now we got everything cut. We're gonna sand it down. Got the Ryobi sander, palm sander, it's nice. I used to have a corded one. This one's much better. It can go outside with me. It can go anywhere. Hated the cord, as most of you probably know. So now we're gonna sand it down. I just have an 80 grit on here. You can do whatever grit. You just want it smooth. So when you torch it, it's good. And then when you put the stain on, uh, it doesn't get caught in any splinters or you know, lets the wood soak up the stain real nice. So we're gonna sand everything down and then we'll do the next step. Okay, we've got everything cut and sanded. Now we're gonna torch the coat rack uh, to get a little character, pull out the grain, make sure you do it in a ventilated area and make sure you're not in a windy area because you want the flame to be consistent throughout your burn. So here we go. So you see on the coat rack how the edges was a little more burnt than the other ones. I'm gonna burn them again uh, at the end when we put this together uh, because I make uh, kind of a faux border of the image or the flag for the coat racks especially. So it's okay if it's a little darker on the edges because we're gonna go back and make those darker anyway. So next step, tape it All up. Right. So now we've just taped the border because it's gonna be a little different than our normal Betsy Ross coat rack. So just tape the border and then we're gonna come up with the image and start staining. All right, so now we've got the stars on the coat rack and now we're just gonna dremel them out real quick and you can see kind of the style I do. I just outline it real quick, uh, make the star pattern and then fill it in. So we just finished uh, coating the coat rack with Minwax water-based uh, polycrylic clear satin. So it's gonna have a smooth finish. And this is kind of what it's looking like right now. And then we're gonna put our carbon paper down and then trace the image. But we gotta let this dry. Usually I let it dry overnight. So that's what it's looking like. Stay tuned. So we've finished our coat rack. Um, I forgot to put the stencil example on the video. So I put a picture of what it looked like after I copied it on white carbon paper. You just trace it with a pen or a pencil and we've carved it out and we put the hooks on. So this is what it looks like. So yeah. There you go. And to hang these, I don't put hanging wire on them because it's a one piece and it's supposed to sit flush on the wall. So I use uh, what I, what our group calls freedom cleats. We don't call them French cleats, we call them freedom cleats. And that holds snug. As you can see, uh, there's a French cleat with my uh, workout vest rack that I made. So that's hanging on a French cleat. Uh, this French cleat is 50 pounds. Other cleats can be 100 or 25. So. Use whatever you think you're gonna hang on the coat rack. 